you guys have heard me on this show. Uh, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't hesitate to speak strongly about how much of a disgrace I think Don't Ask, Don't Tell is. Uh, it's, it's an, to me, it's an embarrassment. I've watched uh, uh, gay LGBT uh, sailors get discriminated against, get bullied, all this stuff. It's despicable. Uh, I've served with so many great shipmates and battle buddies who were gay or, or uh, lesbian and or any other, you know, on whatever, you know, take your pick. I've seen it all. And I have personally no issue with any of that. I've certainly worked with a lot of uh, straight people who are total dirtbags and a lot of gay people who are total rock stars. It absolutely does not bother me one bit. In fact, the only thing that bothers me is the discriminate, discrimination and prejudice policies. So that's the part that bothers me. It's an, another conversation about who should be allowed to join the military with what medical conditions or mental health conditions or whatever. That's another story. But the, to, to choose to, how you choose to live your life and who you choose to love and to be discriminated against like that is a disgrace. And it makes me absolutely sick to my stomach anytime I hear something like that, which is why I am cautiously optimistic that this next project that we're going to talk about could be truly something special. This gay Marine vet just made a movie based on his life in the Corps during Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and we're going to watch the trailer, and I hope that this movie is awesome. The Inspection is a new feature about a young man who turns his life around in the Marine Corps after being kicked out of the house as a teen for being gay and living homeless for several years. Marine veteran Elegance Bratton wrote and directed the movie, which is based on his own real-life experiences. The movie will get its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival in September and a prestigious closing night screening at the New York Film Festival in October before an A24 release of the inspection in theaters on November 18th. A24, if I see A24's name on a film, I get excited. I think A24 puts out really good movies. Really good, really, really good. I watch like every A24 movie. Bratton served in the Corps during the military's Don't Ask, Don't Tell era, and the movie draws on those experiences. Jeremy Pope, best known for his role in the Netflix series Hollywood and set to play World War II Army veteran Sammy Davis Jr. in the upcoming biopic Scandalous, can't wait to see more about that, plays Ellis French, the character based on Bratton. What's a Marine Corps movie without a terrifying drill instructor? Bokeem Woodbine, who you'll recognize, the great character actor, so memorable as the rapper, massive genius on The Sopranos, and recently seen on Fargo and Halo as an, as an actor who seems born to play one. He is a great actor. You'll recognize him when you see him. Bratton lived on the streets for a decade after being kicked out of the house for being gay. He joined the court. It's horrible. That's horrible. Joined the Corps at age 26 and served as a combat production assistant at Camp H.M. Smith in Hawaii. After the Corps, he graduated from Columbia University and New York University's Tisch School for the Arts. He's used those camera skills he learned in the Corps to make a career in film, creating the Viceland series My House and directing the 2019 documentary Peer Kids before writing and directing The Inspection, his first feature. Let's take a look at the trailer for The Inspection and see if you guys think that this movie is going to be something worth seeing when it comes out in November from A24. Let's get this going. You will duck it in! Aye, aye, sir! Aye, aye, sir! Have you been convicted of a felony? Are you communist? 60, 50, 40, 50. Are you now, or have you ever been a homosexual? No, sir! I will break you. I promise. Are you in trouble? Ma, I need my birth certificate. I need you to help me. I'm gonna be a Marine. <laughs> Marines. No you ace gayer than two left shoes, and everybody can see it. And more than 50 have been wounded or injured in this attack, including several American servicemen who were on patrol there. This all I have left of the dream I held for you. Real question is, why do you want to be? I want to be a Marine. That's not good enough. To be a good Marine means to know thyself and seek self-improvement. That means you, Gavin! Aye, sir! 
They kicked you out, didn't they? My mom? She won't even talk to me. Most of my friends are dead or in jail. If I die in this uniform, I'm a hero. Somebody. Who camp is supposed to break you down? Wanna go home? If we leave, they win. Why is this weapon your best friend recruit? Because it's the thing that protects the Marine to my left and to my right, sir. I could have left you at any doorstep. Never giving up on us. Man, I'll tell you guys something. That looks awesome, I think. Um, what a cast, too. And that looks awesome. I uh, I hope I hope that that's a good movie, uh, and I hope it does a good job talking about this issue, these issues of prejudice and discrimination, which are very real. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that hit me in that trailer and gave me the the goosebumps. I I remember having a conversation with uh my my dad. And I need my birth certificate. Why? Join the navy. Like that's a I don't know if it's intended. It, I assume it is. Movies or dialogues really written very deliberately. But I remember going, you know, I need my birth certificate. I need my social security card. I need my high school transcripts. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm out. I'm leaving home. Uh, my dad and I had a terrible relationship. Um, it's not like that was a big heartbreak. But it's like you go in there and you're like, hey, I need this. And it kind of triggers like, why do you need that? Why do you need your birth certificate? Why do you need those things? Starts a pretty tough conversation. So um, I'll, I'm looking forward to that one. I really want to go. I really want to see that. It'll be out in theaters in November, November 18th, I believe. And it'll be at the Toronto International Film Festival in September. Maybe we can get an advanced screening copy to make a review. I'll try to see what I can do. But let me know what you guys think about that trailer in the comments. I'm really curious to hear it. Uh Sorry. I would love to hear what you think about that movie. And maybe uh, what do you think about Don't Ask, Don't Tell in general? I know some people out there feel strongly about it both ways. And uh, and I know where I stand on. I feel strongly about it, too. I think it's a disgrace. I think it's a huge embarrassment for the military. If Go watch uh, The Imitation Game with Benedict Cumberbatch and look at how people who, just because of how they are, of how they were born, of how they feel, um, and look at how they, they were treated. Especially, you know, in very, you know, very commonly revolving around the military and government jobs. And, uh, and it'll give you a lot to think about. So I'll leave you with that. I'll leave you with something to think about today is what do you think about Don't Ask, Don't Tell and uh, the people who are affected by that? Imagine having a PCS, permanent change of station and move across the world and you're in love with somebody. You're a man. You're in love with a man. You're a woman. You're in love with a woman and you can't get married and you can't move them with you because your career will be over and you'll lose all your benefits, your health care, your job, your livelihood, everything that you've worked for. So you have to leave the love of your life behind again and again. No hope of, of settling down because the job that you are willing to die for would persecute you for it. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up in the corner here and check out this next video. If you want, in the description down below, there's links where you can get Scuttlebutt Show merch and find out how you can support the channel. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to talking to you guys very soon.